Aloha everyone, my name is Megan, and it is my pleasure to introduce Sheila Mero. <laughs> Come up on the stage, please. <laughs> dedicated member of the What Makes You Feel Beautiful team. She serves as our board secretary treasurer. <laughs> Sheila brings a wealth of experience and compassion to our organization. She is a retired corrections officer, having honorably served for 25 years in Westchester County, New York. Beyond her professional achievements, Sheila is a passionate farmer and lover of all animals. Yeah. <laughs> she is also the proud owner of the dog wash, Maui. Yeah. She continues to spread her love and care of our furry animals. Please join me in welcoming the remarkable Sheila Mayer. <laughs> tell you guys, usually I like to sit in the back, invisible, <laughs> but how do you make a six foot one black woman with dreadlocks invisible? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to blame this on Kailani Jackson. <laughs> she was like, you have to get up there and talk. <laughs> I have to apologize to the people in the front here if I'm spitting on you. <laughs> Uh, I went on a cruise a while back, and you know how people run after the cruise ship? Oh, don't leave me! I was like, you have my teeth! <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, you know? Um, but I, I was asked to uh, say a personal thank you to Kailani Jackson, so I'd like you to come up here, please. <laughs> It's all your fault. <laughs> Kailani Jackson, I, I love you. And I, I have to share this with people. I shared it with Monica. I love you even more when I bumped into you at the DMV. <laughs> and you had, you had Kapuna, you had a Kapuna? Yeah. 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 She was tutu. Yeah, yeah, and she was getting ready to drive, and I was like, oh my god. I'm just helping her to get her driver's license. I'm like, okay, you know. She's like, hey, no. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just an example of how you serve the community, you know, wherever you're needed. This, this woman here um, made Maui her home. Um, as a promise to your loved one and uh, since then you've been thriving in this community you have given your heart your service uh, all along this whole time too she just received her bachelor's degree and she is working towards her master's in and, November, I'm done with that one. and then you move on to the PhD oh, yeah. Yeah. able to do that and just like you know I, I don't know people's background here but there's a, a favorite story that I have in the Bible about a woman who has a little jar of oil and uh, you know she was like in a, a need and she's like oh man God you know what am I gonna do and God was like yeah well take that little jar of oil and pour it into the other little jars and you'll be able to help your you know your family and and, but give it, you know, sell the oil and everything, and that jar just kept going and going and going. So I kind of connected that with your lamp being full with oil. Because I'm like, how do you do it? When do you sleep? You know? But you believe in this organization. You have shown so much love and provided so much here. And I just wanted to uh, say personally thank you. And Monica has some roses there for you. Oh, wow. Thank you.